Today we're going to be replacing that carburetor you saw in the last video that was flooding out the engine and putting in a new fuel shutoff valve because this one's all kinds of messed up. Starting off by shutting off the fuel and pulling the fuel line off and then there's two 11 millimeter bolts to take off this little manifold. Then I'm just loosening this bolt here so I can pop the cover up so I'll be able to pull off the manifold. And after you go ahead and pull that out of there, there's two 8 millimeter heads on these screws. They're kind of hard to see, but they are definitely there. I'm trying to tilt it to show you which way I remove it. And we're just going to reverse everything, get the new card, put it back on with the new gasket, put the 8 millimeter screws back in. The little plastic manifold goes back in, then the two 11 millimeter bolts. Fuel solenoid gets reconnected, and then you can see here I'm just cutting these old lines to get that old fuel shutoff valve and install the new one with new lines. You definitely want to add one of these if you haven't already to keep this problem from coming back. It's probably the best way to keep it from happening. And I have this mower for sale currently, and stay tuned to see how much it's